Hello everyone. My name is Mark Florence and I am with the Southwest Technical College and Solar PV Outlaws. In this video we're going to talk about rapid shutdown boundaries as required in the 2017 National Electrical Code. Let's get started. So there have been significant changes between the 2014 National Electrical Code and the 2017 National Electrical Code related to rapid shutdown. And as I stepped back and thought about this and done quite a bit of research to understand what do these new systems look like, the one thing that's come to mind to me is that our, the traditional uh, string systems that we've seen installed on buildings, and you know we've seen them on ground mounts and pole mounts and different systems, but the traditional string systems that we've seen installed on buildings, those probably coming to an end, or, or the, somehow they, they're going to have to come to an end in order to meet the voltage requirements that the 2017 NEC has for rapid shutdown. And so what, what does that look like now? What, what's going to replacement or replace that? And that, as I've looked at it, what it's going to be is the module level power electronics or MLPE. This is where we're starting to, this is where we look at um, each individual module or maybe two modules would be controlled by some electronic device. This is where we're looking at uh, possibly more the, the higher increased use of um, AC modules or it could be microinverters or it could be the DC to DC converters. And so just keep in mind that meeting the boundary requirements of the 2017 NEC is going to require some form of module level control to be provided. Otherwise the voltage levels inside the array boundary will just be too high. Remember the voltage levels outside the array boundary, 30 volts or less within 30 seconds, but the voltage levels within the array boundary, those are 80 volts or less within 30 seconds. The 2014 NEC allowed the higher, much higher voltage levels within the array boundary. The big change came when we went to 2017 and it said, hey, doesn't matter what your voltage level when the system's operating, within that array boundary, when the rapid shutdown is initiated, you got to get down to 80 volts or less within 30 seconds. I have not seen a product that's come out that allows a traditional string system to be there uh, and operate and meet the rapid shutdown requirements. Every system that meets the rapid shutdown from what I've seen now are going to actually have included some form of module level control. So if you took a, take a look at this, this is actually a system from SMA and they have, you can see that they have some module level controls. They have our PV modules or a big array up here. Each one of these modules or maybe a couple modules would be controlled by this uh, module level power electronics. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, each one of these would have that. These are coupled together. It allows you to have some higher string voltages, I guess, uh, the way I would look at it. It allows these to be coupled together. These are DC to DC converters, or, or that's the concept behind those. And then these are tied all the way down into an inverter, where the inverter would control these module up. These are kind of, this is like the master. These are the slaves. Uh, the modules would, would provide a certain voltage and current and the inverter would control what the total voltage and current of the system would be. And when rapid shutdown is initiated, it's going to basically break down this array and reduce those voltages to specific levels that within the array boundary would be less than or equal to 30 volts. And then outside the array boundary here, uh, or actually, let me correct that, Within the array boundary, it would be less than or equal to 80 volts within 30 seconds. And then outside the array boundary, this is where we would be at 30 volts or less within 30 seconds. Some of the systems, maybe like Solar Edge, for example, that has the, those uh, module level control, everything shuts down to less than, less than or equal to one volt uh, when that's initiated. So um, just, Basically, the point of talking about this and showing this information on this slide is to let you know to meet the rapid shutdown requirements of the 2017 NEC, 
we're now forced to use some sort of module level control in order to meet those requirements. String systems, the traditional ones that we've been used to, just uh, won't meet this anymore. Thanks for joining me today. If you found this information to be useful and you'd like to stay connected or be notified about future videos, please be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I hope to see you in the future. Thanks.